very first pair of Balenciagas. I feel like singing that song, Balenciaga. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. You don't wanna hear me sing it, trust me. Here is a little preview of what I'm about to show you. We got two items from Prada, three from Fendi, and Balenciaga. So let's get right into it. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Linda and I do post weekly about fashion and one day travel. And so I just showed you a little preview of what we're about to see. And so yeah, today ended up being one heck of a shopping day. I mean, I literally woke up and did not plan to go shopping for myself anyway. So as you know, Mother's Day is coming up around the corner. It's gonna be in almost a week. And so I knew already kind of what my mom wanted. And so I pretty much told her, how about let's go shopping and find you a little Mother's Day gift. So she's pretty much been wanting like a little round like coin holder or something like that, like from Louis Vuitton. But the one that she wanted has been discontinued. And so I said, let's go shopping and see if you find something similar that you want. We'll just go to a bunch of different stores and we'll find something. And so our first stop was Prada and it was a success. So we'll go straight into that one. And of course she did pick it out since this is what she wanted. So here is the bag. So yeah, so I'm not like ruining a surprise or anything. Like she did pick this out. And then it comes in this little box. And she's totally fine with me showing it. Like, she told me, please do. And there you are. And I just thought this was such a cute piece. I almost bought one for myself. Like, I don't think they had any more, or at least not in this exact style. But look at this. Is this not, like, absolute beauty? Let me try to show you close up. So yeah, so it's this nice metallic kind of goldish color and it comes with a chain. Like how crazy is that? I've never seen one of these that comes with a chain. And so it's a detachable chain. So here you see where you can detach it. Pardon my nails, they're like kind of crazy right now. And so yeah, so it's pretty much exactly what she wanted. Just instead of from Louis, it's from Prada. And this is in the Safiano leather. So it's that very nice, like durable leather. And you open it up and it's just got all the like the little cards and stuff, like the date thing that come with it. But yeah, when we saw this, we were so surprised that like pretty much on the first store we tried, we found pretty much exactly what she wanted so i'm so glad that now she'll be able to finally have kind of what she's been wanting for and i actually think this is just adorable and again the chain is just such a bonus like the one from louis definitely didn't come with a little chain like this it's so cute and again i love that it's detachable so i think if you have a prada nearby and you want to go look for something like this Honestly, it's so adorable and so it is just not in my nature to not look for something for myself I mean, I'm already there, right? So being the shopaholic that I am I of course managed to find something for myself It is not something I need. It's not something anyone needs, but I couldn't help myself. So this one's mine and I actually already have one of these from Prada It is, if it ever focuses, there we have it, a little key clay. So again, it's that nice Safiano leather. It's also in that like metallic gold color. It's like, when I look at it, yeah, it leans mostly towards like a metallic gold, but it's such a light gold. I would say it's more like a champagne. And then you open it up and you've got four, right? Yeah, four little slots for your keys. And then the one that I have from Prada from before, from years ago, didn't have this little thing. So I really like that because I feel like this I'll get so much use out of because I'll put like my house key on here. And then if I'm in a rush and I don't feel like taking all of this, like sometimes I go outdoor running, I just rip this off and have my house key on me. And then that way I don't have to take like the whole thing. Because I think that's why I kind of stopped using my other one so much. But this was just so perfect. And the price was out of, when they told me the price, I was like, give it to me. 
Like, I just, I need to have this. So I'm super happy, especially because it's Safiano. So any of you that have Safiano, you already know it's so durable. Like, I'm not worried about my nails ever scratching this. Like, it's just such good quality. So yeah, so super, super happy with this purchase. We were actually super close to the Fendi store. So I just wanted to go in to just kind of take a look to see what they had. And wow, I definitely did not intend on getting a few items, but... Let's just, I'll just show you what I got. I'm not even sure which one this is, so let me see which one this is. Okay, so this is actually something that I never planned on getting. I've, it's, I'll just tell you what it is while I'm unboxing it. It is a belt. And so I'm going to insert here a little video because I loved my essay in this Fendi boutique. He was so nice. Hi, if you're watching, so I'm going to insert it right here. There we have like the Karl Lagerfeld watches. And here's the best sales associate ever. <laughs> and so yeah, I just did a little bit of damage and when I get home I'm gonna do an unboxing and I'll show you guys the few little things that I just bought here. <laughs> here because he was just so nice and just Definitely didn't help my shopaholic ways. I'm so easily influenced when I see something I like. So this belt, again, I had no real intentions of getting a Fendi belt. I never had actually seen a Fendi belt on anyone or maybe I just didn't notice. I usually tend to wear my Prada belt a lot or my Gucci belts, mostly my Prada. I really wear my Prada belt to death. Like everyone's always asking me where I got it because they haven't seen anyone like it. It's so insane. Like it, it doesn't even look like Prada. Like once you look closely, which everyone does because it's pretty in your face, they love it. And so I figured it's about time to give that belt a rest and start wearing something else. And so I am so happy with this purchase. It took me like a minute to decide I wanted it. I mean, like, I literally looked at it and I was like, I'm not sure with the color, how much wear I'm going to get out of it. Let me walk out the store and really think about it, get my head clear. And then I literally walked out, thought about it for like a minute and then came right back. And it was just kind of funny. I was like, wow, that didn't take too long. So, yeah, I, I thought about it and I feel like this color isn't that insane. Because in the beginning, I was like, oh, it's kind of like orangey. So I don't know how much use I can get out of it. But I was literally wearing black today, like light jeans black top and so I felt like this matched and usually I wear black or white top so when will this not match pretty much I'll just have to make sure my shoes are neutral which today they were they were like a light beige color so it went with this anyway so I thought you know what I'm gonna get it and it was such a good price too and so definitely check out this Fendi like I'm gonna put down in the description which one I went to because they are so friendly so nice it was not too crowded like it's very nice like with the whole COVID situation how many people they let in so it was definitely a nice shopping experience it wasn't crowded at all and I was super happy because on the other hand Gucci was insane it was like a line wrapped around inside it was a little bit more crowded not super crowded but just a little bit more than here so I was so happy in the Fendi store and so yeah this belt it's the embossed leather this is the calfskin see if you can see it there and so it feels so nice and soft I like that it's calfskin because I do feel like calfskin is nice and sturdy I have to take the plastic off of this it's like really on there I'll just take it off later with scissors or something but yeah so I feel like even though it's embossed all the way around I still feel like it's subtle like it just doesn't look like it's really screaming out Fendi to you like it's just subtle enough where it's fashionable it's trendy but it's not too logo mania ish and honestly you guys know I'm not afraid of color at all so I am going to wear this a lot like I'm I'm not shying away from color you guys know that and so yeah, so that was the first purchase. Totally unexpected. Totally, totally unplanned. This next item, it's not something that I planned on buying today. It's just something that I've always liked and I've wanted, but I just hadn't really found the right one or I just like, eh, I wasn't looking that hard, you know? But when I saw it, it comes in this little bag, it is this little strap. So I usually wear my bags like either completely crossbody for like my Valentinos or Chanel's or my Fendi Peekaboo I like using that one as a top handle and so they had the long strap so you could wear a crossbody but it was like that thick like guitar strap looking one 
Uh, this wasn't really for me because my Fendi peekaboos, I do wear them like top handles. I usually put the strap inside of it. I just, I take it completely off and just tuck it away inside to not lose it. But this, since it is the small strap, I can still use this as a top handle and get just that little pop of color. Again, I do not shy away from color. So I just thought this was so, so cute. Um, I would have preferred for it to be black just so I can always match everything, but then again since i'm not i don't really mind color i said you know what they don't have a black when am i going to see another one like this and it was such a good deal that i got it anyway so on one side it says fendi roma and it's in that bright pink the other side is slightly understated compared to that side so you just have like the hot pink and then the little ffs here and i'll show you on my bag so this is actually the bag that i wore today and so it's not the same hardware but i don't really care not to mention since i have it in the defender you really aren't seeing the hardware that much and who's really inspecting your bag that much although i do feel like people tend to look at my bag a lot but yeah so i can wear it here so it's slightly higher up than the little top handle that it actually comes with and I feel like also just when I'm going to have it resting, I can just kind of have it like that. Which kind of reminds me of like the Valentinos. I don't know if you can see them somewhere in there. No, you can't. But like they have that little extra strap that just kind of like lays there. So I feel like I, I like that. I don't mind it at all. If I feel like holding it from here and it's just kind of like hanging out, kind of like a little accessory on my bag. Obviously, I like accessories. Maybe I'll take this off though when I use this. And I feel like I can use this one. So I have my black peekaboo, so I feel like it'll match really good with this one. And then I'll just take this off. Actually, no, I think it'll still go, right? Yeah. So I can use this with this one. I can use it with this one. And I don't think I'll be able to wear it on my other two peekaboos because they're kind of big. And I feel kind of worried about using them. And not to mention the color might conflict with at least my red peekaboo, which is up there. Yeah, that one I don't think I could wear this with. Um, my other peekaboo I could probably so yeah so I feel like this one at least I love these things that you could just put on different bags so I'm super excited about this yeah I love this one I didn't plan on getting it today but hey that's how these things work so super happy with this purchase my other Fendi purchase was not from today I'm just mentioning it today because why not it, i bought it not that long ago and i've only worn it once and it would be these little fendi booties i love them they're so cute i know you've all probably seen them in all these previous seasons but i just got these and i love them they just have the little fendi right here it's this nice thick like almost sock like material but a lot thicker and then you've got leather everywhere else and I just thought these were so cute. Slightly understated if they only see this side. And then once they see the outer parts, there's your little Fendi. And so, yeah, I just thought these were super, super cute. Nice, somewhat simple black pair of booties. And also the heel is very short. So I like that because I feel like you could walk in these forever. My last item that I'm going to show you, I'm so excited because it is my very first of this designer and i want to shout out my bff lulu the beautiful beautiful lulu she is my best friend and she got me something that i totally was not expecting i mean this really it is my very first pair of balenciagas i feel like singing that song balenciaga anyway I'm not gonna do that to you guys you don't want to hear me sing it trust me but yeah so she gave me this and i I'm just over the moon because I had no idea she was giving me this. I was so shocked when she gave it to me. So it comes in this box. I have not worn these yet because I haven't gone anywhere worthy of these shoes yet. They are the knife heel. And this is why they call it the knife heel. But yeah, so here they are. This is the nice little kitten heel. So I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of these because when I get heels that are like three inches or so, I get so tired. Like I don't last that long. And so when it's these nice little kitten heels, I feel like I could wear these all day. I haven't worn these though, so I can't really 
tell you how they are but I mean I think they'll be fine this is like a nice little satin material I love this color it's so beautiful and you guys know how much I'm not shying away from color I don't have any bags to match it but I'll probably just wear like either my black Chanel or just like the black Fendi or black Valentino something like that like I'll just try to keep it simple with the color of my bag and then I'll be able to match these babies take out the other one I love that like new shoe smell but yeah so here they are tell me these aren't just gorgeous I can't wait to style them like I'm thinking I can keep it casual with like nice light blue jeans these and maybe like a white t-shirt or something but then I feel like I could dress it up because I am going to that Van Gogh exhibit in Miami and we're actually going together me and Lulu and so but I was just thinking it would be so nice if I wear like a little black dress and like these this will be like the pop of color and I'll probably end up wearing this bag so I was thinking, yeah, so this all black Valentino with these and like a little black dress or something. And I feel like it'll be just so perfect for the, the moment. Or I'm not sure. You guys give me ideas. If you have any outfit ideas to style these, I can't wait to wear these though. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lulu, if you're watching. And yeah, so it ended up being a lot of items that I didn't really plan on getting. Some were gifts, some were gifts for me gifts for someone else but yeah so I'm just over the moon with all my new items and that's it for this video if you did like it consider subscribing give me a like and comment below what you like the most I want to hear from you guys was it was it this was it this I'm so excited about these but yeah so let me know and I will catch you all for next week's video bye everyone